Three Chinese astronauts returned to Earth on Monday after a six-month stay on China's Tiangong space station. A parachute slowed their capsule's nighttime descent to a remote landing area in China's Inner Mongolia region. The Shenzhou 18 crew emerged after touching down at 1.24 a.m. local time. A Chinese national flag stuck in the ground near the capsule flapped in the wind. The Tiangong space station, which was completed two years ago, is part of China's efforts to be a global leader in space exploration. In recent years, the country's space program has brought back rocks from the moon and landed a rover on Mars. It aims to put a person on the moon by 2030, which would make it the second nation after the United States to do so. The space station astronauts returned after welcoming a replacement three-person crew last week for the latest six-month mission. The new crew will conduct experiments, carry out spacewalks and install equipment to protect the station from space debris. A space agency official said in April that Tiangong has maneuvered several times to avoid debris and had partially lost power when the solar wing's power cables were hit by debris, according to a report from the official Xinhua News Agency. China is among the countries that have created space debris, including the reported breakup of a rocket stage in August during the launch of the first 18 satellites for a planned communications network similar to Starlink. Tiangong, which means heavenly palace, is in orbit around the Earth. Only Chinese astronauts have gone to the space station so far, but a space agency spokesperson said last week that China is in discussions to select and train astronauts from other nations to join the missions, Xinhua reported. Astronauts from several nations have traveled to the International Space Station, but China is blocked from that program mainly because of U.S. concerns over the military's involvement in China's space program. Among the drones that the U.S. supplies to Ukraine in hundreds, a VBAT model has been discovered that is invulnerable to enemy radio interference. This is the development of the California Startup Shield AI. The Wall Street Journal writes about this. Having tested the Californian UAVs and being impressed by their invulnerability to Russian jammers, Ukraine immediately requested 200 new units. One drone of this model costs about $1 million, but the wholesale price is significantly lower. VBAT is a reconnaissance drone that can also act as a bomber. It is special because it is powered by artificial intelligence technology and is capable of long-range flights. The UAV can independently maneuver over the battlefield, study it, and identify targets for strikes. It does not require a pilot or even a GPS system to do this. The VBAT platform 
is integrated with the HiveMind artificial intelligence system from Shield AI. This ensures its autonomy and the ability to make independent decisions in the field. AI allows the device to safely avoid obstacles and find optimal routes. The UAV can stay in the air without recharging for up to 12 hours, cover a distance of almost 1,000 kilometers while carrying about 11 kilograms of projectiles to drop on the target. Ukrainian specialists conducted very intensive tests of the Californian VBAT at their testing ground. They tried to suppress the drone with numerous electronic warfare systems used by the Russian army. None of the jammers had any effect on it. It continued to fly. The publication notes that the VBAT tests were also conducted near the front line. The drone flew almost 100 kilometers, entering the territory controlled by the Russian occupiers. It calmly flew over a zone that is inaccessible to most other UAVs, as it is tightly closed by Russian electronic warfare systems. The drone not only successfully completed the flight, but also detected an anti-aircraft missile system belonging to the occupiers. The Ukrainian armed forces took advantage of the opportunity and launched a missile strike on the Russian installation.